Got another one hiding in here. Oh, I see another one shooting. Let's take one of this guy. This, this one, guys. This is the one you don't want right here. Let me just uh, flip this over and show you why. See how the see how the cap is not connected to the stem at the base of the mushroom. Pull some of this off here so you can see a little better. You see that? That is false burrell, guys. It's just like an umbrella. The base is not connected to the mushroom. Okay, so we're just going to toss that aside and let me show you. I'll wipe off my hands. Now this is a real mushroom, morel mushroom. <clears throat> this is not a false one. And as you can see, the base of the mushroom is connected to the stem. I don't know well you guys can see that, but I'm glad I found some of them because I did, I did have a couple questions about, uh, you know, a couple of my friends asked me, well, how do you know the difference? Well. That's the difference. And there's a couple more, a couple more false morels right here. Here's another one here. I'm pretty sure this is a false one. Get these out of the way. Yeah, it's another false morel. The base is not connected to the stem. And right here, here is another one. Another false morel. Again, the base is, is, you know, it looks like an umbrella. You know, the cap of the mushroom is not connected to the base. You can just pull that stem right out of there. Oh, I didn't do it on that one, which the last one I did. But yeah, and then the, you know, the the stem is also solid up in there too. So. That's the difference between a false morel and a good morel, guys. And these are good morels. Good morels. Bad morels. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can find some more good ones. Well, I see another bad one. At least I think it is. Let's zoom in on this guy real quick. Oh, there's another one. Oh, good ones. There's another bad one. There's another bad one. Okay, now you guys got to see what the false morels look like.